Right, so let's have a short discussion about scope. So what is scope? Well, scope is just a term we use to describe basically when something is accessible to us and when it's not accessible to us. So if I declare something like this, this is what we call global scope, which means that anything in this code base, the entire browser scope, like the entire code base has access to this variable. Same things for functions. So this function is globally accessible. And as you can see, we're using foo inside this function because anybody can access it. This returns two because foo is one and one plus one, you know, that, that old thing. Now, if we scroll down, we can make something local scope. So local scope means that it's not at the top level, at this level right here, it is inside something else. So this function is global scope, so it's accessible to everybody. However, this variable is inside that function, which means that no one outside of this function can touch it. Only things inside of this block here, this function, can access it. So if I return another function like this and do bar plus one, this is completely legal because I'm declaring this function inside the same scope, which will yield the results too when we have instantiated this object. And that's the basics of how scope works. Okay, so let's talk about the, this keyword and scope. Now, this concept we're going to talk about now is something that is a, one of those weird things that JavaScript has, and it's something that most programmers have a problem with. And even senior programmers don't get this right, so let's just dive in and see where we end up. Now, here we have a person object and we declare a name and some friends and then we have a say name function and then we have a log name function and we have a name your friends function. Now most of this is old hat and it's pretty safe. However, if we look at this usage of functions on this object, there's going to be an error and the error is going to be in name your friends. So let's look at what happens. So I copy this like so. Go to the browser, run the code, and we get an error. So first we do say name, and then we say name your friends. So it logs out Frederick, but it's not finding this dot log name, and it says it's not a function. So what's going on? I mean, we know we have that function, it's right there. Well, what's going on is the contextual issue of the this keyword. So what that means is that this inherits whatever properties is on the caller who is referencing the this keyword. So here it's safe because this dot say name is going to pass down the properties that it finds to this dot name that is inside of this function. No worries there. So there's a chain. And the same chain applies here. So we have one this, and then we have a nested this, so the chain is, is complete, no worries there. But then we do this. We declare an anonymous function, and that function is independent. It's not connected to the rest of this object, which means that we now have a new contact. The chain is broken. There is no chain between these things. And that means that the this keyword no longer holds log name. So be very careful when you're using the this keyword and remember that there's a chain and that chain needs to be respected. Otherwise, you'll find that in some contexts, you'll not actually have the things that you're expecting. Right, so how do we safeguard ourselves from using this and then finding out that we broke our context? Well, if you do something like this, this line here, 104, well, what's going on here? So what you're doing is that you take the this keyword and everything that's on that, you put that in self. And then inside of this function that will, like this anonymous function that will break our reference chain or our inheritance chain, the context is going to be broken, we do self.log name. And that's actually going to work because we stored the chain of inheritance in this variable. And because of scoping, where you can access anything that's in the same scope, you actually make this work because the, this keyword is not being used anymore. So the context is secure. Now, if I copy paste all of this stuff here, like so, then we go and we remove some of this stuff here and we run this code, 
you can see that it works perfectly well. And that's how you would safeguard yourself from breaking the this reference or the inheritance of this keyword.